Well, I, you know, there's the cops out there, the, the SWAT guys, they're Americans too. And those are the guys we need to reach, you know, because they're the ones that are going to follow those orders. And we have to reach them before it's too late, Alex. We have to, we have to hit the police, the fire, all of those first responder type people. Because if we can, if we can build up the resistance within. We have, forces, we are, yeah, we are. We will. Yeah, I mean, I'm too hard on a lot of them because the media loves to show only the bad cops and people. And I figured out a few years ago that when I was hyping that up, and I still do it because it threatens me at a primitive level, that actually makes the cops then get more isolated from us. We're more isolated from them. But then you have to, when, when the when the Oklahoma Highway Patrol defends the guy who almost runs the ambulance off the road and then jumps out and starts roughing the guys up, and then they say he's the bad guy, the ambulance guy's bad. I mean, that is the system fundamentally run by bad people well it, it there's there has been you know brainwashing power trips you know ingrained in a lot of these guys uh they think they're terminators walking around you know, but that's been done so they can be used in an evil job cops you better break yourselves out of the out of the mind control you're in because i know what i'm saying is true and so does gary 1-800-259-9231 i'm gonna take a lot of your phone calls coming up in the next segment and mention some other news headlines i haven't gotten to it's the best of times, it was the worst of times, as the famous literary mind said. And it is. And I guess the best in us comes out when things start getting the worst, but also the worst in us comes out. And, I mean, I keep going over this and over this, to have them openly announcing a bank of the world, but then I thought they were going to run us out of the bank of the world through the executive. They're saying, no, the banks will actually rule the federal government with government power. So this is like a fourth branch of government above it, a new form of government in the United States openly being announced, not with a bang, Gary. It's just being, you know, like slipped out like somebody does something in church. You mean like a, a global banking system over the Federal Reserve? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, but but actually running government functions and commanding the Pentagon and the executive and it, it's above government. Well, that's the New World Order. That is what they've been working for for the past 80 to 100 years. But, I mean, they're mis they're skipping ahead of three or four more steps. They're going right to the end. Well, they're because they don't have the time. Because we're waking people up faster than they can go ahead and, and develop the system. Their plan all, the, all along has been incremental steps. And now because we are pushing out the information at the, at the rate that we are, they have to amp up their game. And that's why you're seeing the speed and, 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 and the, uh, the New World Order developing at this rate. No, I agree with you. And they decided to go from the soft tyranny to an open tyranny. And they've said that in the Financial Times of London. They said, we are authoritarian. But this is good. I mean, they, they are saying they're authoritarian. I mean, I keep repeating it. They are illegitimate, Gary. So what do we do? You know, we're pushing. People say they want solutions. States' rights, not not secession. We're saying states created the federal government, Ninth and Tenth Amendment. We're saying we're not going to follow your unconstitutional stuff. We're going to get you back under control because the feds have been seized by offshore corporations. The states have got to come back and get control. Uh, we're saying... Uh, H.R. 1207 to audit the Fed. That's yes. going to the House floor. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, 230-something sponsors now. Uh, there's all these other solutions. Defeat gun grabbing. Defeat open borders that the globalists want. Uh, defeat all this foreign aid to foreign bankers. No more bailouts. All we give is solutions here. So people listening have no excuse. What should they do, Gary? What are some other solutions? Well, you know, it, it, it comes down to the local level. Okay, that's the, the Constitution was put in place to give, to limit government. OK, and the Tenth Amendment, Ninth Amendment give those powers not duly, um, you know, enumerated to the to the federal government down to the states and to the local level and then to the people. So that is where real change can take place. And people have to get involved at the local level. Exactly. The, the presidential elections are important, but it's been totally seized by offshore banks. Billions of dollars, over two billion was spent in the last presidential election. The power You'll show up where incredibly important decisions are being made by foreign bankers where they're literally running local meetings, say, in Austin, Texas, or in Chicago where you're at, and nobody's there resisting it. It's like we've just given up, but now people are not giving up. They're starting to find out they can fight back. Well, I mean, you see groups like, uh, you know, back home in, in Chicago. I, I would be... Um I would be lynched if I went back home and didn't mention the, the hard work of the Lone Lantern Society there. We are Change Chicago. All the guys, uh, you know, nationwide, these grassroots groups that are springing up, and they're showing up at these places. They're showing up at the Council on Foreign Relations. They're showing up at these organizational meetings. And, they're and notice how all this, and notice all of a sudden, 
The mainstream media is going, okay, there's a Bohemian Grove. Okay, there is a trilateral commission. Okay, the Bilderberg Group does want world government, but it's for your best interest. So they've lost all this credibility all these years saying it didn't exist. We've gained all this credibility. Well, they're going to, they're, see, they need to have the people accept it. Okay, so for all those years, like you just said, they went ahead and denied its existence. Now they're coming out and they're saying it does exist because now they need the people to accept it. Meanwhile, we're coming in like the tip of the spear and waking up the people. It's, it's neighbor to neighbor. It's house to house that we have to wake up the people. This, if we don't win the court of, a, the court of public opinion, we will lose. Absolutely. Gary Franchi here with us in the studio. We've got about a minute before we break. We're going to come back and take calls. Uh, tell me about uh, Restore the Republic magazine, Republic magazine. You're involved in so much good stuff. Uh, we created a publication to further the work of Aaron Russo, to push his message further. You know, that movie uh, touched on so many issues, and we, we figured that those issues needed to be expounded upon. Uh, so there you have, that's Republic magazine, and we really would like people to go out, check it out, republicmagazine.com. Uh, grab a subscription, you can grab bulk copies, a uh, high quality, glossy print publication, uh, provocative covers. You know, our next issue is really hot. Uh, just go there, take a look at the cover. George Washington with an AR-15 on his back. I mean, it's it is. You gotta love it. And and on and, and 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 Gary, on top of that, we don't just need to be high tech internet. We need to be low tech like this. Leave these at dental offices. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Wherever. Well, yeah, because you because know, you may unlock an entire soul, an entire brain with one DVD or one Restore the Republic magazine. Very exciting. About to break. We'll tell folks more about that when we come back. And your phone calls, 1-800-259-9231. Infowars.com and prisonplanet.tv are our websites. Who's that the dice are loaded? Everybody rolls with their fingers crossed. Everybody knows the war is over. Now that is a handsome creature right there. Knows the French bulldog puppy, lost. ladies and gentlemen. This little fat ass is, uh, the fight was fixed. how old is he? The poor Five months. He, he's big the for the breed. That's one of the blue ones. How it goes. Anyways, it's my wife's baby. Everybody Name's Captain. Captain Fantastic, ladies and gentlemen. And he doesn't like the New World Order at all. Watch out. He's going to try to jump off the table. Just let him, go. Yeah, let him down. Thank you. Go ahead and let him down, Francie. Thank you. Got his white hair all over me. My parents got his uh, sister, and he's been over at their house fighting all day. He's got bite marks on him and stuff. Those puppies are something else. Franchi, it's always something new around here on the show. That dog is a terrorist, probably, according to Homeland Security. But you, you presented me with a silver piece the other day. I want to present you uh, with our Culpepper flag uh, T-shirt, uh, the Come and Take It, Don't Tread on Me, Coiled Snake of Liberty. And on the back, it has the Thomas Jefferson quote, the tree of liberty must be refreshed from time to time with the blood of patriots and tyrants. This is the way we get people to go out and meet like-minded folks, wear our colors loud and proud. And uh, that's XX large for you, my yeah, friend. I hope that's you. the that's right beautiful. size. If not, we get just an extra large or large. And this, the answer to 1984 is 1776. And this one isn't quite as provocative as an evil founding father flag. You might get questioned by Homeland Security for that one. Uh, this one, people say, what is that? What's 1776? What's 1984? And we found this is a great way to strike up conversations, and then it's got a little Infowars.com uh, on the back. So, Gary, uh, from uh, the Infowars Command Center, to you and to uh, the Restore the Republic folks. Uh, Thank you. There, you've got some of our colors there. You can. Uh, I will wear them with pride, Alex. I will wear them. Well, 1776 is pretty anti American, though. You better watch it. 1776, you know, I have, huh? You know, I have FEMA on tape saying that's terrorism. Well, yeah, uh, they have. They said it. You know, in some of your early films, they talked about that. You know? Yeah, I have FEMA training videos. Yeah. yeah. It's disgusting, in fact, that these people that claim. In fact, you're flying on an airplane. You might get arrested for that. Oh. 1776. That's evil. Yeah. Bankers don't like it. Well, they don't like a lot of things that the American people are doing, and we're stepping up to the plate, and that's what needs to be done. That's what every American needs to do, step up to the plate. Hey, the Wall Street Journal actually got it right. You know, I told the Wall Street Journal I wouldn't be interviewed by them lately. They want to come here and do an interview. I told them, maybe I should. It says Congress and the IMF's power grab 